If you've ever seen or ridden a Rokan two-wheel drive motorcycle, you probably know that they are gutless wonders. So it's basically a lawnmower type engine. It's an industrial engine with industrial a high, engine. high torque. But you probably also know that they are wonders because they can climb things that you need a lot of momentum on a regular dirt bike to climb. They don't usually get stuck, but everything has its limits. Normally anything you can stay on top of it for, it's going over. The owner of this Rokon wanted me to make it faster, give it a little more juice, and that's exactly what I did. Before tearing out the original engine, I wanted to take some baseline measurements to see how fast it was. I wanted to do 0 to 30 poles, but it wouldn't even go over 24 miles an hour stock. So I was stuck with 0 to 20, but it doesn't really matter because I'm comparing apples to apples. The average time it would do 0 to 20 stock was about 9 seconds. Not too hard to beat. Alright, time to pull out the Kohler and drop in the 212. I started off with a Tillotson 212 with electric start to run all the lights and stuff. I decided to go with a stage 2 cam and a nibby carb. I thought I'd be able to just drop the new engine right in, but it turned out the castings are a little bit different between the Tillotson and the Kohler, so I had to do a little bit of custom work. The first thing I had to do was make a custom exhaust. The stock flanges are a little bit different. The holes don't line up and the Kohler was on a different angle. So what started off as the back of an office chair is gonna be my new exhaust. It just happened to be exactly the right size tubing. The next challenge was figuring out how to stuff an aftermarket carburetor in. This thing's made to be an off-road tank, and if I left the carb hanging out like people do on their mini bikes, it would have ripped it right off the first time it laid down. The first configuration was using radiator hoses, but it was too floppy and wouldn't hold up during the summer months when it got all hot. So just like the exhaust, I had to make my own custom intake manifold. It took a little bit of tinkering, but I think the results came out pretty good. Luckily, I had just brought to life my homemade plasma cutter that I built to make parts for the grave digger. I used it to make a custom flange for the intake manifold to start with. I also used it to make this little accessory mount for a USB charger. Now that it's all done, it's time to take it for a spin. New top speed, 36 miles an hour. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this thing came out. Zero to 20 times went from around nine seconds to just about four. Top speed went from 24 to 36 miles an hour. The factory spec on this bike says it should go 35 stock. Either that's a downhill figure or there was something wrong with mine to start with. But it was running pretty good when I did the tests. Should you do this to yours? that's entirely up to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. More to come on the homemade plasma cutter and the grave digger.